What is going on, YouTube Nation? This is Dark Dividend. If you guys are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. I have one dividend stock that I own and I'm long on, and I will be holding forever and reinvesting the dividends. But I got three of the best dividend stocks to buy and hold forever. And these ones are consistent with dividend increases. They have excellent compounded annual growth rate. They're great dividend growth stocks. They're on my radar. Two of them are on my radar. And one of them I'm going to be long and holding forever because it has consistent dividend increases. So make sure you hit that notification bell. Make sure you smash that like button. Let's check these out right. So the first one I want to address is I have been mentioning this monthly dividend stock numerous times. I consider them a huge rival to Realty Income. And actually their dividend growth rate is actually faster than Realty Income. Its business model is almost the same. So it's an increase in results, 4.6 month over month growth and 9.8 year over year growth. The Agree Realty Corporation announced today that the board of directors is authorized and the company has declared a monthly cash dividend of 22.7 cents per common share, representing a 4.6 increase over the previous monthly dividend. The monthly dividend reflects an annualized dividend amount of $2.72 or $2.72. Uh, per common share and a 9.8 increase over the annualized dividend amount of $2.480 per common share in the fourth quarter of 2020. The dividend is payable on November, November 12, 2021 to stockholders that record the close of business on October 2020. can't even like talk. I literally chugged water because I'm going to be working out and I'm like choking on it on October 29th, 2021. So here's the thing. So I want to show you their dividend history. I'm going to show you how they look as a as a stock, and uh, I'm going to show you how it is a, compared to O. Oh, it's crazy. I, I have to show you this because a lot of people don't realize that its business model is just about the same. It's not as big as O, oh, but it is phenomenal. Let's check this out. In 33 cents, Realty Income is at 72 dollars and 58 cents. So it has been up 51.32 percent compared to 24% in the past five years. Now, Realty Income is a member of the S&P, don't forget that, and it's a new dividend aristocrat, but Agree Realty Corporation, pretty dangerous right now. It has a dividend yield of 3.82%, PE ratio of 43.84. Again, FFO is the most important, but its year range was 61.27 to 75.95, and its dividend growth is like insane. I have to show you its dividend history real quick. Look at this rate that's going on. You're seeing in 2021, the board of directors made the call that we're going to be a monthly dividend stock. It's at 20.7 cents in 2021, and all of a sudden it's at 22 cents. And they made the announcement. It's already out there. This is exciting for these guys as a dividend stock. And I'm going to show you how they look against realty income real quick. You're seeing how slow these guys are increasing their dividend over time versus... Agree Realty Corporation with a growth rate 20.228. This is 22 cents in 2019 at 23 cents. So you're seeing Agree Realty Corporation shooting up like crazy with this monthly dividend, which makes it a very attractive dividend stock over realty income at the moment. So you're getting an increase in dividends. They have a great business model. It's almost like the same, except they're not as like huge as realty income. Same type of uh, models. Uh, they're they have really good pandemic and recession proof uh, buildings that they're a landlord to. And it's really crazy how these guys are really uh, making a comeback and really catching up to O's dividend. And, you know, again, this is not financial advice for entertainment purposes only. This, And I have a disclaimer in the description, but I'm starting to like agree realty income a little bit more than O and the price per share. And the increasing dividend makes it extremely attractive as a dividend stock. And kudos to the board of directors for making the call, calling them a monthly dividend stock. So, and I have to show you something real quick. Let's first look at realty income real quick. Its dividend growth is 4.98%. The three-year is 2.56%. And the five-year is 3.54%. Okay. The dividend growth rate is 1.40%. Let me show you Agree Realty Corporation. 
Dividend growth rate is 16.88%. The dividend growth rate is 4.94%. The dividend growth rate in three years is 9.32%. Five years is 7.95%. Consecutive dividend growth, nine years. These guys are catching up to realty income. And if I was realty income, I'd be shaking in my boots because these guys are the same price. They're increasing their dividend. And actually, they're a little bit more attractive at, at the moment. If I had... $10,000 and you told me, oh, agree Realty Corporation, I would put it in agree Realty Corporation. And again, this is not financial advice for entertainment purposes only, disclaimer in the description, but you're seeing a juggernaut that is catching up to, oh, let's jump to the next dividend stock. And that next stock is Life Storage. I had to like stop when I was switching uh, to the next stock and um, I was like coughing. I'm still choking on water. It's pretty lame. And that... Life Storage is a real estate investment trust. It is sitting at 2.63% with a PE ratio of 57.22, deer range of 70.29 to 131.97. It is a really good traditional and Roth IRA material. It has consistent dividend increases. I'll show you what these guys are about real quick. But look, in the past five years, it has beaten the S&P, which makes it extremely attractive. And you're going to see a nice dividend growth rate. I'm going to show you what these guys are about and show you their dividend history in a second. So this is what makes these guys really powerful. So they're a fully integrated, self-administered, self-managed real estate investment trust that acquires and manages self-storage properties Throughout the United States, headquartered in Buffalo, New York, the company employs over 2,000 people and operates approximately 1,000 self-storage facilities encompassing over 67 million square feet in 34 states. So self-storage, this they're everywhere. I see them in Ohio. They are everywhere, and they're so powerful, and I have to show you their dividend history. LSI is a symbol. Don't forget that. 95 cents to one dollar one dollar seven cents all of a sudden it went to 74 cents and 86 cents and it has a dividend yield of 2.66 percent with a pe ratio of 53.21 an annual dividend of three dollar and 44 cents what is going on why did it all of a sudden drop like that is this is this a yield trap what is going on are they not financially doing well what do you think and here's why because they have a history of stock splitting so 1995 they did a two for one 2000 they did a two for one and on january 28th 2021 they did a three for two stock split so anytime you look at dividend stocks and you look at their dividend history Find out why a dividend decreased because some people are like, oh my gosh, they're, they're not financially doing well. But you have to do some digging and understand why there's a decrease in the dividend. Did they split their stock? I mean, look at Apple. Apple did a four for one stock split. So these guys have a history of splitting their stock. So that, that means they're pretty damn good. So you're getting a, his, a significant stock split history, getting an increase in dividends, that makes them traditional and Roth IRA material. Your net asset value is going to increase. Net worth will increase, or you can say it that way, and you're getting consistent dividends. So your net asset value will be nice, and then you can start taking money out once you retire. Hopefully at 59, you start pulling that out. And hopefully you don't have to worry about those loopholes where you have to pull money out for medical bills or house payment or something like that. So let's jump to the final dividend stock. Here's another bank stop that took a huge nosedive during the pandemic, and it was actually beating the S&P at one point. That is People's Bank Corp. of North Carolina, PEBK, has a dividend yield of 2.37%, PE ratio of 11.84. The year range was $17.29 to $29.69. That is another one where the dip is there. Again, the financial sector and the real estate sector is what I'm going after because they still haven't really recovered from the pandemic. So I'm going heavy in those sectors for that reason. And I'm going to show you their dividend history. So 2019, you got 14 cents, 2020, 15 cents, 2021, 16 cents. And then in September, they made an announcement. They increased by one cent. So it's at 17 cents. So you have a PE ratio of 11.64 with a dividend yield of 2.4%. So these three dividend stocks, Agree Realty Corporation, they have increased their dividend over time. You got uh, LSI, who has done very well with a significant stock split history, which make them a very attractive stock. And anytime you see a stock split history, I mean, that is a beautiful dividend stock. That means that they're in demand, people love them, and people keep on buying them. 
from PEBK People's Bank Corp of North Carolina. Not a bad dividend yield percentage at 2.4%. It has increased its dividend over time. So keep an eye on those three dividend stocks. Agree Realty Corporation I own and I'm long on. The other two I'm keeping a close eye on. So let me know what you think of this video. If you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. This is Darth Div Dividend. You guys have a good one. Again, I'm like, I keep on choking on this water. This is like embarrassing. <laughs> it's doing these videos. All right, you guys take care.